list of titles, well, the championship record has uh, stood since 1986, 21-71 for Heike Dressler, who has five European titles. Dina Asher-Smith going for that same number, by the way, if you include the relay. They also both have one silver to their name. Dressler equaling the world record at the time in her home country in Germany. So there is Asher Smith from lane five. Claver alongside a great 400 runner as well, but enjoys this shorter event more. Jinka Kambunji, who had that lead of a couple of meters in the 100 final, but it was a German who came through. And Alexandra Burkhardt seems to have grown in confidence through the rounds. Just 400 off her PB this year, 23-04. But Asher Smith, the only athlete in this field who has gone sub 22 seconds. 21.96 this year, 21.88, her lifetime best. So final action of the night. Burkhart, Kadari, Kambunji, Clover, Asher Smith, cast off, Grebo, and Jody Williams on the outside. The final of the women's 200 meters. So Asha Smith in the centre, the defending champion. What kind of shape is she in? Struggled with Gramp in the 100 metres and pulled up, but going well so far. Kambunji in the red of Switzerland trying to challenge now with Williams and others well back. The battle though, Kambunji against Asha Smith. Switzerland just leading. Is Asha Smith going to come through? No, Kambunji is the European 200 metre champion. What a performance from someone who really, eight years ago in Zurich, became a big name. And her performances on the world stage have got better and better. And now she has the gold medal she craves. The one she was so close to getting in the 100 final. Making amends as she breaks out into a smile. 22-32 to beat Dina Asher-Smith and uh, stop the Briton from getting three consecutive European titles in a row. That's some performance from Kambunji. And look at that. A sprint medal from Denmark is super impressive from Karstoff just beating there Jody Williams of Britain. Clava all the way back in fifth for such a talented young athlete. Well, what an what a year for Majinga Kambunji taking the world indoor title over 60 metres in Belgrade in March and now standing on top of Europe as far as the 200 metres is concerned. It's a cool night. It wasn't ever going to challenge 22 seconds, I don't think. 22.32, the winning time. But it was an absolutely epic head-to-head -head battle down the home straight between Kambunji and Asher Smith. And they were so far ahead of the rest of the field. Kambunji, I think, really won the race in that third quarter. Diana Asher Smith had had a great bend. Kambunji just fractionally behind as we look at the replay. Sort of stuttered out of a bo blocks, Kambunji. Not the best of start by any stretch of the imagination. Diana Asher Smith absolutely flying around the bend. And then Kambunji just starts to reel her in as Dina Asher-Smith starts to tense just very, very slightly. And then the momentum just brings the Swiss sprinter right the way through to the line as Karlstoff becomes the best of the rest with that surge over the final 40 metres. What a terrific performance. And Kambunji, she knows she's got gold. She's over, almost overcome with emotion in those last couple of metres. It's hard to believe she's got a world bronze medal over 200 meters and she's never had a European 200 meter medal. But she has now Majinga Kumbunji taking the gold medal in the 200 meters, perhaps justifying or skipping those four by one heats this morning for her Swiss team. They struggled without her. But Majinga Kumbunji all smiles. She had a fantastic 2022. The performance in Belgrade was astonishing. And she's backed it up really well here with the European title. Yeah, and I think she's a better athlete than many people would give her credit for. She's a, another to have completed the set of European medals now. Silver in the 100, as we said, and then the bronze. 
in 2016 in Amsterdam for the world indoor 60 metre champion earlier this year. So uh, capping off a great year. Now with the flag of Switzerland on her back there is Dina Asher-Smith who of course just finishing behind her, just losing out in that battle. Someone who's been very vocal, Hannah, I think this is a really important point to mention about the effect of a, a period, essentially, menstrual cycle, something we've seen more female athletes being more outspoken about. It's massive, the effect of the menstrual cycle on female athletes. You fluctuate through the month. It's different, different hormones. People always...